Konnichiwa, minasan. Boku no namae wa Yuki desu. Today is another grammar day, episode 3 of So, You Want to Learn Japanese? Today we are going to be discussing the particle no and adjectives. So, getting started, we are going to talk about the particle no first. The particle no, used after a noun, means possession. Like how in English we have apostrophe s. So like, uh, let's see, like mom's book. It's, it's a M-O-M, well, M-O-M, um, mom's book. With that apostrophe s in there, uh, it shows possession so that it belongs to mom. In Japanese, after saying okasan, which is mom in Japanese, you would say okasan no hon desu. If you remember from la two weeks ago, um, we learned the word hon meaning book. So, okasan no hon means mom's book. So, it, it's pretty useful um, when you want to talk about things that belong to you, like kore wa boku no keitai desu. This is my cell phone. Um, if you remember from the previous grammar video, uh, the wa sets, um, sets the topic saying this, and then boku means I, and then having the no after boku means mine, and then keitai is cell phone. So, kore wa boku no keitai desu. Um, so it, it's a pretty easy sentence structure, which is appearing on the screen now. Um, so there it is, in this area, in ha, in this area, because that's the entire video. Ha. Okay, um, it's a simple grammar point, so we're also going to be talking about adjectives today. So just a second. Okay, so about adjectives, there are two different kinds. What you're seeing right now is just a big list of adjectives. At the end of the video, it will have all of these in Romaji, or at least the most important ones. Um, so like big is o ki, small is chi sai, and I I want to uh, highlight some of these for what they are. Um, if I just pan down a bit and I would like to zoom in. Okay, so this one right here, E. E or Yoi means good. Um, this should be Shizuka. Yeah, Shizuka has a na right here. What this na means is that it's a na adjective. The difference between an e adjective like e or atarashi or furui, um, as you can tell, atarashi, furui, and e or yoi all end in e. So end in hiragana e, which you learned last week in the previous episode. Um, what that means is it is an adjective in and of itself. Um, well, shizuka na, which means uh, quiet. If you want, like, okay, here's a sentence example that will make this easiest. If you want to say something is good, like a good book, i hon. So you just have to say i hon des, um, which means that is a good book. But for shizuka, if you want to say a quiet room, room is a shitsu. So it would be a shizuka na shitsu desu. So you have to have the na if it's going to become, if it's going to come, rather, um, before a word. Um, but if you wanted to say like shitsu wa shizuka desu. 
So then you don't add the na, but it still has the same re uh, same meaning. It's just structured a little bit differently. So um, those are the two different kinds, and let's talk about a little bit of conjugation. So just a second. Okay, guys. As for conjugation, for those of you who don't know, conjugation is changing a word so that it means slightly different. Um, in English, you like it's like past tense. So, uh, I am running, or I will run to I ran. So it's like past tense, uh, which is what we're going to talk about right now. So. Let's say you want to say something is big. So let's say you have a big, uh, um, how about a big gun? Kore wa oki, oh girl, I actually don't know gun in Japanese. Hmm. Oki gun. Des. So this is a big gun. Um, but let's say if is if this shrunk down. Let's say someone takes a shrink ray and shrinks this down to very small. Then it was big. So it would be oki kata. So it's o actually. Oki kata. Um, so, dropping the e and adding kata means was for an e adjective. Um, another e adjective uh, e, like I was about to say, um, is yoi. It's a irregular um, adjective. So instead of saying e kata or i kata. You say yokata. Um, so, in, like, let's say school was good. So, right now it's not. It was in the past. So, gakko wa yokata desu. Now, for a na adjective, it's slightly different. Ending it, like, if you end. Oh, and I just want to say, because I forgot to mention, this is if the adjective comes at the end of the sentence. So, yokata des has to, that, that's the end of the sentence. Was good. Um, so, also for not adjectives, if you want to say something was pretty, kire, it ends in an e, but it's, it's, it's a not adjective. It's an irregular not adjective as well. Um, it's a real irregular adjective because it's a na. So, if you want to say something was pretty, like heya, meaning room, heya wa kirekata is not correct. You say kire deshita. So, for na adjectives, you do not use kata. Another na adjective is uh, shizuka na, what we went over a little while ago. So, shizuka means quiet. So let's say that you were in the cafeteria. Um, you were the only one there. Then tons of people come in, and it gets really loud. So, shizuka deshita. Des gets changed into deshita, which is the past tense form of des. Conjugating verbs is going to come later, but just des becomes deshta. Okay, guys? So, not adjective, deshta. Or plain form, uh, it, it, or present tense habitual form is what it's called, uh, would be just des. So, if cafeteria wa Shizuka des. The cafeteria is quiet. Cafeteria wa shizuka deshita. The cafeteria was quiet, meaning it is no longer quiet. Um, tama, which means ball, 
um, tama wa oki kata des. So that would mean the ball was big. So tama wa oki kata des. But to say it is big is tama wa oki des. Pretty simple. Um, there are plenty of charts to find on the internet that have all kinds of um, adjectives. Uh, here in a second you will see a list of a few that I think are important uh, for you to learn right now. Um, it's just going to be in Romaji, not Romaji and Hiragana this time, uh, due to, well, hmm. Okay. You know what? Romaji and Hiragana, um, for now. I'll, I'll just keep that up for a while. Uh, I will not be using the kanji. But yeah. So. Next week, we will learn Kaki Kuke Ko and two more kanji. Um, I'm, oh. For those who want to know about the kanji that I'll be teaching, there are going to be N4 kanji. Now, for those of you who don't know what that means, which is probably many of you, um, N4 is a, it's a rating in the JLPT. Uh, the JLPT is a test, it's the Japanese language proficiency test. And basically it just shows how, how well you know Japanese. Um, and there's a set of kanji for each one. Uh, there's the four, three, two, one. It used to just be three, two, one, but now it's four, three, two, one. Um, and I can't quite remember how many kanji are in the are in four, but it's quite a few. Um, three has a lot, like. I think it has three times as, as many as um, N4 does. So we're going to go through all N4 kanji first, then we'll get started with N3. Um, and I, uh, I did receive a complaint about um, my first grammar video saying that it, it was kind of confusing. Um, at the, that person also told me that they weren't really paying that much attention though. So I'm just going to say that's kind of on him for that one. But um, I was also told that it was kind of garbled up. Um, not very... Co uh, not Well, it was coherent. It, it just wasn't... I, I can't think of the words. Like, you know, gears rubbing together and stuff. Cohesive! That's the word. That wasn't very cohesive. Um, that things just weren't really, like fitting together as well. It, it just kind of seemed like I was here and then there. Um, it, it's mostly because with this grammar, it, it's kind of hard to explain these grammar points like in depth because they're very beginner, um, they're very beginner types. So like the particle no, meaning possession. Boku no hon, my book. Um, it's just, it's a simple concept. It's just apostrophe s in English. Later on, when we uh, get to more complex grammar, the videos will be much more centralized on just that one grammar point and uh, and will just run better so bear with me for now until we get to a, a little bit more of complex things uh, which should be soon I think um, till then please like and subscribe uh, please share this video around to you know your friends who want to learn some Japanese uh, Sorry about all this just talking part right here, um, but I will see you guys next week.
for another episode of So You Want to Learn Japanese, and I will see you tomorrow for Foam Friday. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.